Welcome to UOIT's Teaching and Learning Center's tutorial on creating a course or a class in Turnitin. This is one screencast in a series of tutorials designed to help you get started with Turnitin by creating a new course, or as it's referred to in Turnitin, a class. So let's get started. By now you have your account information uh, to log into Turnitin, so I'm going to put in my email address and my password and sign in. The first screen that you um, are looking at when you sign in is the instructor home page. This screen shows you all of the classes that have been set up for you or you've set up and the class IDs that are associated with them. This class ID is an important number as it's a number that you will need to give your students when they are trying to upload assignments to your class. So let's add a class. Over to the right hand side of the screen is the add a class button. I'll click that and I'm presented with the window create a new class. There are two types of classes. One is a standard class and the other is a master class. We're going to do a master class in the second half of this video, so for now we'll just do a standard class which is comprised of one instructor and your students. So I'm going to give the class a name, being very creative, and the next thing that I do is give it an enrollment password. This password goes along with the class ID when your students upload their assignments to your class. So make it as easy as you can. I'm going to make it simple. Remember, students have to log in, so there's one level of security before they get here anyway. The class end date should be at least a week or two after the official last day of class to give you time to um, upload any assignments that come in late. I'm going to click Submit and this class will be created for me. I receive a window as soon as I click Submit that says I have created the new class. There's the name of the class. And this information here is the information that you want to save for your students, the class ID and the enrollment password. You'll need to give them that information so they can upload their assignments. Now you can close this window and have a look at your course or class on the instructor home page. So that's a standard class. At any point in time, you can go in and click the Edit button, which is this button over to the right, and you can edit any of the details of the class. If at any point in time you have TAs that you want to add to this class, you could convert it to a master class. But we'll set up a master class. So I'm going to go back to the Instructor homepage, and let's set up a master class this time. Go through the same process, add a class, only this time select Master Class from the drop-down list. And I'm going to give it a name, Master Class 1234. It has the class end date. And then notice that there's a, some information here for you. Note there are two ways to add teaching sections to a master class. And a master class goes through by the concept of sections, and you can assign TAs to different sections. You can create the sections yourself, or you can have your TAs join the master class and create their own sections. So if you want to add the sections yourself, bypass this TA join password. If you want your TAs to um, join into the class and assign themselves a section, give them a join password. I'm going to put a join password in here. You may want to make that a little bit more secure. And click Submit. Again, I'm given the window that tells me I've created a master class. And then this information, the class ID and the join password, is needed by other instructors in the same class or TAs in the class in order to join the class. The class ID is always shown to the left of the class anyway. So the next thing with a master class is you have to add sections. If you click on the plus section, 
you'll be offered the window that allows you to say the TA's first name, last name, and their email address. So I'm going to go ahead and add Maureen Weidman from the Teaching and Learning Center as the TA to this course. Click Submit, give it a section name. Now here's the enrollment password for your students. So I'm going to get make this one fairly simple and call it password. Click Submit, and I'm done. I've now created a section for my master class. There's the ID that goes with the section and the enrollment password for your students. So when students go to upload their assignments, they will need to know this information for this particular section. The section is then shown here on your instructor homepage. A master class can be converted to a standard class at any time and vice versa. Let's take this master class and convert it to a standard class. By going over to the Edit button and clicking on it, I'm offered the information about the master class and then I have a button here to collapse to a standard class. That's as easy as it gets. I click the button and now my class has been converted to a standard class. I can also take a standard class, go in and click the Edit, and convert it to a master class. Once I click on the button Convert to Master Class, there is my new section assigned to myself. And that concludes our tutorial on adding a class to turn it in.